Papers everywhere, Papers bullets everywhere. everywhere. That's what one Hickory Hill resident woke up to this morning after a late night shootout left dozens of bullet holes through the walls of the Autumn Ridge apartment complex. Hello, I'm Greg Hirsch. Stephanie is off tonight, and this comes just hours before two other shootouts where dozens of shots were fired. WRG's Ashley Paul spoke with residents and city officials as the use of these military style rifles seems to be on the rise. Ashley, what'd you find out? And the barrage of bullets sounded somewhat like a loud thunderstorm, according to people we spoke with, Greg. And tonight, they say that it wasn't until they woke up this morning that they realized what really happened. 75 bullet holes riddle the outside of building 3904 in the Autumn Ridge apartment complex in Hickory Hill. It sounded like a storm, like a rumble, like it was... Like, doo -doo 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 -doo. like, so I thought it was storming outside, so I never even got up. This neighbor wishes to remain anonymous, but she says when she got up this morning, she discovered what really happened. According to police, 43 shell casings were recovered from the scene from at least two different guns. Police believe it was a drive-by shooting, and this woman says from the sound of it, she believes the shots came from machine guns. Crime's really everywhere, so you really can't pick and choose, but it's just when it hits so close, it's scary. And that has certainly proven true after another violent evening in Memphis. Late last night, police responded to a shooting in Frazier at the Shell gas station on Range Line Road. 75 shell casings were recovered from that scene, too. And just hours later and up the road, another home riddled with gunshots, that shooting killing an 81-year-old man. In a town hall meeting in Raleigh tonight, Mayor Paul Young addressed not only the gun problem, but what appears to be an assault weapon problem in our city. Well, certainly we want to make sure that illegal weapons are not on the streets and we want to get them out of the hands of those that are doing uh, these heinous acts in our community. While discussing public safety with the crowd, he vowed they are working diligently to get these dangerous criminals off the streets and into the criminal justice system. Our goal as uh, the city of Memphis and with MPD is to make sure that we capture them and hold them accountable. And so we're going to do everything that we can to make sure that those families get justice. Now, Memphis police say that all of those shootings are still under investigation. Anyone with any information is asked to contact Crime Stoppers at 528-CASH. For your news leader, I'm Ashley Paul, WREG News Channel 3.